going on? <laughs> you sounded like it was urgent on the phone. Well. Mm. Okay. Um, so, guess. You know I'm not good with guesses. Just try. I don't know how to. Just say something. Okay. At the count of one, oh two, three. Ta da! <laughs> it's a lie. <laughs> he proposed? Yes, he did. And I said a big yes. Oh my God. <laughs> this is so beautiful. You know, Larry has eyes for good things, you know. Of course he does. Oh. And he got me. He got me big time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Congrats, best friend. You're Thank so you. lucky. You're so, so lucky, you know. I know. Oh, I know. So I what is he? Okay. My baby went to work. Aww. <laughs> Your dad's the best employee of the year. Oh, uh, I know, right? Yeah. I know. Oh, oh, I am so excited. Just look at my ring. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. Right? You have a wedding to plan. Of course you do. And you know what? Why don't you just sit and relax? Let me get a bottle of champagne. Mm -hmm. okay. We need to celebrate. Okay. We need to celebrate. You have a wedding to plan. Oh yes, mm -hmm. you know what's up. There is no time for Lord of the Ring. Though. There is no time for Lord of the Ring. Okay. Okay. Hey baby, you sleeping already? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, <clears throat> have you told your dad about the engagement? No. No. When will you? I don't know. You don't know? <sighs> Honey. Honey, you know that man and I aren't in talking terms. You're always not in talking terms with your dad. For how long are you and Chief gonna play this cat and rat race? As long as he keeps messing with girls my age. I mean, I, I wonder how my mother even feels watching him from her grave. Oh, suddenly my father has become the, the, the sugar daddy of Abuja. Great. Look, that man had better choose between me and those useless girls he goes around with. Am I not even inviting for my wedding? A wedding? Yes, wedding. You're talking about a wedding already? Mm-hmm. I mean, what are we supposed to talk about? You proposed. So what next? Um, <clears throat> I propose, yes. And and we should get married. Of course. Um, But I thought we were going to, you know, take our time, plan. <laughs> take our time? Take our time for what? F for... Baby, baby, come on. I don't see any reason why we're taking our time. I mean, we're already living together. We, we're already living as couples. So why take our time? And there is money. Enough money. So, honey, we need to get married as soon as possible. So we are getting married. And what we should be talking about now is a date for our wedding. We should pick a date. <laughs> mm. Okay, enough of this talk. Why don't we do something fun? So Why? what should we do? Why don't you come make your woman happy? How would you like it? Oh, you want me to tell you? Mm -hmm. You're sure you want me to tell you? Mm -hmm. Hello, Stephanie Smith speaking. Yes, the event planner. Oh, I don't plan weddings. I used to, but not anymore. You don't understand, and I don't expect you to understand, but I am really, really, really not interested in planning anyone's wedding. 
You can call me for other events like uh, birthdays, baby showers, burial ceremony, you know, anything but wedding. <laughs> I'm being rude. Excuse me, you can't tell me what to do and what not to. <laughs> wow. Now who is being rude? <sighs> An innocent girl is about to get married to another scum. Gosh! <laughs> I know, because apparently we just have two months to our wedding. In other words, we have just two months to plan the biggest wedding of the year. Girlfriend, I know because there is so much work to do. Bro, two months. <laughs> like, where are you running to? Well, I think you should be asking Phoenix that question. Wow, you bro. You see, uh, I was shocked when I had that you proposed. But, <clears throat> okay, see. We know that everybody wants Chief Starter because of the money attached to it. This, this sweet girl, this, this sweet girl, you just want to carry her and marry her, bro. What's up now? Yeah. Oh, okay. Have anything else to say? Wow. You really love this girl. We love each other so much. And I can't wait to do forever with him. But does Chief know about the two of you, you and his daughter? Um, no, no, no. He doesn't. And even if he does, look, my dad loves Larry. As his employee, not his in-law. Do you think he wouldn't want me for a son-in-law? Can we not make this about my dad? Please. Look, Jural, I call because I need you to start making preparations for the wedding. Mm-hmm. I want you to get me the best wedding planner in the country. I mean the best. <laughs> Girlfriend, I know you're good with these things. I know that's your field. So help me get the best wedding planner in the country. Yes, we have a whole lot to do. Okay then, I'll give you a call later. <laughs> All right, thank you. Bye. Ooh. Okay. Lai, what did you just say? I said that love is a beautiful thing. And you should try it sometime. That's it. <laughs> oh, Henry, you have suffered. What did you just say? Now, let me tell you what is... What is beautiful. Freedom. Knowing that you don't owe anybody loyalty. <laughs> Let me ask you. Do you know what it means, hot in Phoenix? Yeah? Think, think. <laughs> Losing your job. Like, read these lips. Me, Henry, will never, ever, Fall in love. Never. Clap for yourself. You're so terrible. Here you go. Thank you. Mm -hmm. ah, have you heard of stepping events? Stephanie's event? Yeah. No. Who's that? 
She's an Abuja based event planner and she's so good. Mm. Mm -hmm. You know that you thing, Senator's birthday, city birthday party attended last year in Abuja. Mm -hmm. She planned it and I can tell you it was super late. Hmm. Well, she seems good. But I think there are better event planners in Lagos. Why are you talking like location is a problem? I mean, clearly in her bio, she stated she's available to travel. <laughs> Girlfriend, they all say that. That's what they all say. But on a serious note, I really think this technique girl can give you what you want. Besides, all the event planners in Lagos would have been booked by now. Okay then. So, let's call Stephanie. Okay, right away. Hello, Stephanie Smith speaking. Of course I know. Okay, so how may I be of service to you? You're about to plan one of the biggest weddings ever in Lagos. <laughs> Sorry, I don't plan weddings. And if that will be all, have a good day. Gosh, why is everyone getting married? Did she just hang up the call? Okay, she actually did. Now she's rude. Very rude. Why would she do that? I mean, she didn't even wait for me to state the offer. She hung up. Who does she think I am? Maybe she thinks I'm one of those fake Lagos babes with 30 million era net worth and 5k account balance. <laughs> Girl, I am Phoenix Richmond. And this is money speaking. You know what? Call her back. Let me talk to her. Okay. Here you go. I said I don't... Name your price. You don't get it. Do you? Fifteen million naira. Fifteen million naira. Can you handle such big deal of a party? <gasps> of course, I can. Okay, so my wedding is in two months and it's happening in Lagos. What do you say? I am available to travel. Okay, so I'll be needing you in Lagos ASAP. Because we have a lot to plan. A whole lot. And I'll be taking care of your accommodation. Okay then, I'll be expecting your call. Okay. 15 million Naira. Power of money. You're really going to take care of our accommodation? Of course. Mm -hmm. I mean, this house is big enough for that. This house. Mm -hmm. This one. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> Oof. Hey. Oh, honey, that reminds me. Yeah? I'll be going to the airport to pick the event planner today. The planner? I didn't tell you. Oh, honey, there is this very good event planner that I contacted. I mean, she is so good. So she'll be arriving in Lagos today. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I see you're doing this on your own. What would you have me do since you've decided not to take a break from work? Take a break from work? Mm -hmm. So what would you have me tell the chairman? First of all, I'm getting married to his daughter without his consent. Mm -hmm. Babe, don't you think we need your father's permission first before we proceed with all of this planning? Honey, don't you think you're going late to work? That's not an answer. Have a nice day, my sweet honey sugar. Mwah. I love you. So, I don't want you to run late, so <laughs> you need you to start very... going. 
in. You're one very smart woman. You need you know to start way. going and drive safe, honey. I love you. Lots of kisses. Ahmed, please, I need your services. My car just broke down. Look, I need you to go help me pick up someone at the airport. What? You're busy? Look, Ahmed, I don't care, okay? I will send you the address right now, and I expect you to be there. Um, hello, Stephanie. Hi. Uh, you're at the airport? Oh, my goodness. I am so sorry. My car just broke down. Yes, and I'm still very far from the airport. Okay, uh, can you order a ride? Or maybe wait at a restaurant or a lounge, anything? Yeah, let me just fix this mess and then I will come to you. I'm really, really sorry. Yeah, just... Yeah, wait for at me at the restaurant. You can order anything you want to eat. I will meet you there shortly, okay? I'm really sorry. Alright, bye. <sighs> You know, saying hi back wouldn't hurt, you know. And if I don't? <laughs> Did I invite you here? Or what makes you think I'm sitting here waiting for you? Well, um, seeing your suitcase and the attitude, let me guess. You flew into Lagos to see a man, and now the man is not picking your calls. <laughs> Very funny. Well, um, I live alone and I have a spare room, yes. No, 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 I'm not married, not even in a relationship, so you're safe. I can tell. I mean, women are smarter these days than being in a relationship with you. A man like me? Well, that man like me is a gentleman. And if there's a problem, it's definitely you. You're not just friendly. Well, um, I'm Harry. Get me the usual. I said I'm Harry. Okay, Henry Ten. Can you please excuse me? You're not just nice. <laughs> well, it was nice talking to you. Better I stay in a hotel. Oh, come on, Stephanie. I thought we already talked about this. Or is it because of my baby? Come on. Look, I don't think my baby has any issues with you staying. Right, honey? Uh, no, no, absolutely not. Yay! Mwah. 
you're the best. <laughs> so come back straight to your room, okay? Let's go, let's go, let's go. This isn't a joke. As I speak to you, I am in Larry's house in Lagos. <laughs> For years now, I've been rejecting jobs related to love, men, marriage. <laughs> This one time that the offer came very enticing, I decided to take the wedding job and now I'll be planning Riley's wedding. Babe, <laughs> tell me, what are the odds? Hmm? Understand you. I don't. What's the f what's the fuss about? What's the fuss about? Yes. This is about you bringing a stranger into our home without my consent. That's what it's about. But that's our wedding planner. A wedding planner, and so does that make her a friend? I've never heard of a wedding planner moving in with a couple. Never. Look, honey, that lady came all the way from Abuja. I just want the closeness. I want to be able to monitor things. I want to make sure that everything is in place and on time. Can you hear yourself? You're not making any sense to me right now. Listen, I don't want to fight with you, Phoenix. But you will take her to a hotel and you will lodge her. Or better still, she will go back to where she's coming from. And then you get a wedding planner that stays in Lagos. That's it. Now that's you being unfair. That you being very unfair. Look, I understand your point. I understand you. But can you please let me do this my own way? Please. Your own way? Wow. I thought it was our wedding. I thought it was our thing. It's our wedding. Wow. Hey, we don't do this. Come on. Look, that lady is just here to do her job. And once she's done, she would leave. Okay? Now I'll tell you what. If you permit her to stay, I promise to tell my dad about us. You will? <laughs>
You can do this, Stephanie. You can do this. To hell with him. To hell with Larry. He's just a piece of trash. And you should make money off him. <laughs> you know what, Stephanie? Do this not only for the money, but also to show that you're so over him. Hey, Stephanie. I want to talk to you. <clears throat> Please, I beg you. Don't tell Phoenix about us. Please. worth a topic for discussion. Out. Richmond. Mm hmm. That's me. Wait, uh, does the name sound familiar? Of course. She must have heard the name somewhere. Phoenix here is the daughter of the popular Chief Richmond, CEO of Richmond Agrochemical and Foods. Oh, yes, that's her dad. I bet you're wowed by the caliber of client you've landed. <laughs> Okay, so I will start preparations mm -hmm. by um, booking the best hall in advance and reaching out to vendors who are top notch in their field. You know what? I trust your judgment, okay? Just do your thing and I expect the best. Sure. <laughs> uh, okay. So Phoenix uh, reached out to the Ashrebi Club mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. they sent me pictures of the current ones, okay. the ones in the world. Are you so dumb not to know that this is not the right place and time to have this kind of conversation? Really? When is the right time to have this conversation? Where is the right place to have this conversation? Should we even have this conversation? Huh? Mm -hmm. Put yourself in my shoes. Would you go ahead and marry? Knowing you did what you did. I did what I did for you. I did what I did because I loved you. How can you even use that against me? I loved you too, Stephanie. And that's why it hurt me the most. Because of what you did. But I've made my peace with it. 
I did what I had to do. You live with it. You did what you had to do. Uh, oh! Yeah, so blue. Is that your best color for the decoration? Yeah, yeah, blue. Uh, is everything all right? I heard voices. Oh, sorry about that. We were just discussing the wedding. The wedding? Mm. Especially the colors. Yes. Okay, that's a good one. Yes. So let me leave you two to it then. All right, baby. So you discuss about the wedding, all right? Sure. I'll be upstairs, honey. I'm coming. Sometimes the past has a way of catching up with you. And What's the cost? Okay, fair enough. Like a black. Mm. A blast from the past. So, um Okay. Yeah. See who we have here. Please. Let me call you back. <laughs> Is this the wedding planner you talked about? Wow. Are you stalking me? Uh-uh. More like we are destined to be together. <laughs> <laughs> you two are friends. Mm. You really fit each other. You know, <laughs> I didn't tell you I met her the day she arrived. And guess what? She was this rude. Wait, this is the girl planning your wedding. You want a great wedding, right? Change your wedding planner ASAP. Come on, Henry. Forget the attitude, okay? She's actually really good at what she does. And um, besides, she used to be a good girl. You said you used to. You sound like you've known her. Oh uh, yes, she's my ex. We were this close to getting married. Hey, we meet again. <laughs> See proud girl standing under the sun. Uh? <laughs> can you can you just act like you do not know me? Because you really don't know me. Uh at least I know your name. Stephanie. Well, um, I'm driving to Larry so I can. Then keep going. Yeah? What do you mean you can't make it? I thought you said you were five minutes away. Gosh! Whatever. Um, uh, wait, 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 wait. I thought you were about to give me a ride. Well, I thought you were. You thought what? That I want to stand under this Lagos sun and get roasted?
So, um, Larry told me you are his ex. Oh, he did? Yeah, he told me you guys were almost married. He sure talks a lot for a guy. So, what happened? He didn't tell you that? No, he refused to. Are you okay? You know, you don't have to do this wedding planning. Yeah, I'm sure you didn't know that Larry was the groom and now you don't want to disappoint Phoenix. But, you can quit if you're not comfortable with it. Yeah, they can always find a wedding planner. Wedding planners are everywhere. So, if you're not fine with it, just... I am over Larry and I am very comfortable doing this. And can you please concentrate on driving? Oh, wow. I'm sorry. Thank you. Welcome, sir. You're welcome, yeah. Welcome, my lady. <laughs> Thanks for the lift. You're welcome. You know you can call me anytime you need anything. I'll be available. That was a joke. I forgot to laugh. <laughs> um. Are you looking for something? Yes, my phone. I can't seem to find it. Oh. You know what? Uh, can I call my number with your phone? Yeah, of course. A number and that's mine. You can call me anytime you need someone to talk to. So Stephanie, tell us, will you invite your man to my wedding? Um, I, I come on. I mean, we're friends now, so you're afraid to invite him. Oh, don't you have a man? Oh, come on. Why would you have a man? How on earth will a beautiful woman like Stephanie not have a man? Except men are blind. Well, I guess they are, because I'm single. For how long? Mm, four years now. Four years? So, what happened to your last relationship? I got dumped. <coughs> dumped? dumped? Stephanie, you got dumped. By <clears throat> a dumbass, of course. <clears throat> but what really happened, though? I messed it up by 
going out of my way to pave a way for him. I did the unthinkable mm. to give him a better life. Oh. When he got a better life, I no longer fit in. Oh. Men are really scum. <laughs> well, I agree. Except for my baby here. <laughs> Well, she's a baby, baby, baby. You want some? Mm -hmm. You will never mm -hmm. change. <gasps> Did you notice anything strange? Anything like? A strange energy between Stephanie and Larry. <clears throat> of course there should be strange energy. <laughs> I mean, they're strangers after all, really. Yes. You don't get it. You just don't get it. Well, there is nothing to get. <laughs> Look, anyways, don't forget to call the Ashwabi woman, please. You know we need to start giving out the clothes to the girls, right? Mm -hmm. So don't forget. I won't. Yeah. Go. All right. Go from my house. Get away. Take care. <laughs> <laughs> Ma. Yeah. Bye. All right. Bye. Bye. I'll call you, all right? Okay. I know I'm home early, which is unusual. Phineas isn't home. She went to the bridal shop with you, though. Oh, yeah. I'm aware. She told me. Okay. Cool. I, I came to see you. I, I, I want to apologize for how I treated you. I didn't, I didn't dump you, Stephanie. I lost my self-esteem as a man. I thought I was going to be indebted to you forever. And, and so somewhere in my subconscious, I thought it was just, it was best if I walked away. And so you blocked me on every platform. You blocked my line without any explanation or whatever. And then you pounced on Chief Richmond's daughter. An opportunist is what you are, Larry. It's not even like that. I'm sorry. Please find... Find a place in your heart to forgive me, please. No. You want my forgiveness? Because I suddenly showed up in your house? Hmm? I miss you, Stephanie. I, I didn't realize how much until... Until I saw you again.
fast. Stephanie won't come down for dinner. Um, maybe she's racking her brain. Or maybe she's not in the mood to eat. <sighs> and why are you not eating? I'm eating now. doesn't seem like a busy day, so send me the address on time. Gladly. Okay. Good night. Good night. So you're going out with Henry? Why? I can't. Good night, Larry. Your wife is waiting in bed. Point of correction, my fiance. Same thing. And I love her. Obviously. Very much. Sure. Babe, is anything wrong? You've been moody since I stepped in. Babe, what did you mean when you said something about noticing strange energy the other day? Why, why, um, did you notice anything? Strange between Larry and your 
wedding planner? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure, but I I think I no no I, I shouldn't be accusing you of necessarily. Perhaps you should. I could sense a chemistry, you know. Forget it, you forget it. Forget it. And besides, Stephanie fancies Henry. And Henry fancies her too. Look, I can bet that whatever it is, it's geared towards matchmaking the both of them. Yes. <laughs> okay. What? You're getting married? Yes, Dad. In five weeks' time. I don't understand. When did you bring home a man to me? Oh, Dad, I, I thought you were busy with your relationship life. I will act like I don't know what that means. So who is this man you are talking about? Well, he's someone you know. Larry. Larry? Which Larry? The one who works at my Lagos branch? Yes, Dad. That cannot be. Impossible. Dad? Did you just say impossible? Yes, impossible, impossible, impossible. You had Dad. me right. Dad. You're not saying anything, Larry. Why are you not saying anything? What do you want me to say? Say something! I've told you before that I don't know. What What would you have me say? Well, it was my father who implored you and sent you to Lagos Branch. So you've met my father, haven't you? Oh. Oh, I, I, I haven't. So how then did you get the job? How then did you get the job if you haven't met my father? <sighs> Look, Larry, whatever problem you have with my father, I beg you to settle it. Because I have spent a lot on this wedding. I have spent a lot to have you ruin it for me. You won't ruin it for me, Larry. Well, um, Chief doesn't want me for a son-in-law. Hardly surprising. Phoenix? Been acting cold? I don't even have a remedy. Might as well be <laughs> good. At least in case you're having a second thoughts. Sometimes I wonder if you're really my friend or my foe. <laughs> Come on, guy. I'm just pulling your legs out. <laughs> um, but you're yet to tell me why Chief doesn't want you to marry his daughter. Like, it's obvious you're the best. <laughs> the best in the company. The best guy for his successor. So what's up? The best guy for his successor. Yep. So? I am disclosed. I am disclosed. I knew it. I knew it. You were not in this for long. I was in it for love. I, I, I was in it for love. I, I love Phoenix. You see, uh, I always had my skepticism about this, this wedding. But on the second thoughts, this girl really loves you. Like she really, really loves you. 
for how to have committed all this. And bro, it's going to be bad if you mess it up. <laughs> you know now. Well, look who's loved up to now. This girl really loves you. You know, I think Patrick wants to propose to me. Mm -hmm. I mean, from the way he acts, it's going to be very soon. Aww. I can't wait. I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> Phoenix, are you okay? Phoenix? I'm not okay. I'm not okay. Okay. What's the problem? My dad won't approve of Larry and I. Wait, what? Your dad doesn't like Larry? Why? That's the thing. That's the problem. I don't know. I don't know why he doesn't want to approve of Larry and I. But you know what? I don't care. I don't care whether he approves or not. After all, I don't approve of, of all the numerous girls he's dating in Abuja. But I, I just feel like Larry's hiding something from me. What do you think that might be? Something about how he got his job at the company. I mean, that's the that's the only thing that connects them. I mm -hmm. I think you should, you know, talk to Larry. He's acting clueless. He doesn't want to say anything. Can you imagine him telling me? That he hasn't met my father before. Mm -hmm. Someone who personally employed him. Telling me that he hasn't met my dad before. Okay. Can you imagine that? Mm -mm. Who knows? He might be telling the truth. I think you should talk to your man. Stephanie's right though. You just need to calm down. Okay? okay? I, this sounds more like a mix-up. Calm down. I'm sure it will be sorted, okay? Please. Please, okay, please. How did I not think of our possibility of meeting at the wedding before now? I am gone! You said you to do this! What did you mean by that? Look, I said what I said, Larry! I said what I said! No! It's, it's not, over! It's not that deep, okay? You can't be calling off the wedding because of that! Really? Yes, Stephanie! Make sure you stop every preparations about the wedding! Babe, 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 you need to come. Stephanie! Don't listen to her! You will talk to her, please. Baby, who paid you? Do not let me ask you. Please, do not make me. Please, we need to drive out, okay? You need some fresh air. You need to calm down right now. Okay, let's just, just go. wouldn't find out that I am your ex. And of course, the backstory to that. And that is why you should have rejected the job when you found out that I was the groom. <laughs> you don't get it, do you? Yeah, what? This has nothing to do with me being your wedding planner. Chief Richmond doesn't even know that I am in the picture yet, but he already said a big fat no to your wedding. Oh. Her royal sadness, antagonist, bitterness, Finally, something that makes you happy. Uh, you know, I should be happy, but I don't even know why I'm not. I used to be hurt. I used to hate you sometimes and miss you most times. And of course, 
it should have been a thing of joy to see your engagement crash one month before your wedding, just like you crashed mine. But that kiss, darling, was the closure for me. I really, really wish you well, Larry, and I hope your wedding works this time around. Stephanie, I miss you too. And, and deep down, there's, there's a part of my heart that is still in love with you. You're the only one who can help me right now. Help you? Yes. You, you still have Chief Richmond's number, right? Or just help me call him and talk to him. That's all I ask. <laughs> wow. Larry, you are unbelievable. What? What? Okay, fine. Just talk to him, all right? Tell him not to tell Felix about all that has transpired in the past and tell him to approve of our wedding. That's all. I can even pay you if you want. <laughs> he wants to pay me. <laughs> he will pay me. Come on, Stephanie. Name your price. One million, two million, three. <laughs> Phoenix, I strongly believe that there is no problem that cannot be resolved. So whatever the problem is, I believe it can be resolved without you calling off the wedding. If Larry does not tell me what transpired between himself and my dad, I will not only call off the wedding. I will also send him out of my house. After the scheming and scamming, you thought we'll get away with it. After the planning and plotting, you thought. We've gotten away with it. Well, as it goes, if you commit the crime, you will do the time. It's just a matter of time, and you will pay for your crime. Would you believe it if you were told that your past will catch up with you? Catch up with your you. Past will catch, catch up, up with you. you. Catch up with you. Would you believe it if you were told that your past will catch up with you? Catch up with you. Stephanie, what? Where are you going to with your bags? I'm sorry, I can't do this. Here is your check. I'll cut my losses. Cut your losses? I, I don't understand. What are you saying? I mean, you're in the middle of planning my wedding. Would you expect me to get a serious planner within a short time? Where? There isn't any wedding for me to plan. Says who? Okay, I, I understand that um, Larry and I have issues. But Stephanie, that will be sorted out. That will be sorted out. It's just a little issue. It will be sorted out so the wedding can go on. It is a lot more complicated than that, Phoenix. This, this is all a mistake. I'm really sorry, okay? <sighs> Oh, Stephanie, 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 what are you even saying? Because I don't understand what you're saying. What do you want me to do right now? I'm really sorry. No, 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 you will be more sorry by the time I have sold you to your lifetime. What are you saying? Hello, Jira. 
Please just get over to my house right now. Just, just come to the house because I am going crazy. I am going crazy right now. Good. Uh, you know it's a bit too early for bar, if you ask me. Yeah, yes, I, I know, I know. I would have just gone to a restaurant. At least this is lunch. You, you don't understand. You, you don't understand. Everything that I've worked for for the past four years, that I've put in my blood, my sweat, my tears, is falling apart. And the, and the crazy thing is, there's nothing that I can do about it. Nothing. It's making me go mad. Phoenix. Okay, um, <clears throat> see, uh, Larry, why not you go to Abuja? Go to Abuja as sea chief. Talk to him, man to man. Since he respects your uh, deliverable abilities at work, he should also respect your your genuine feelings that for is his the daughter. Point. It is not that simple. You don't you don't understand. It's, it's not that simple. It's, it's not that simple. It's not. Why not? Okay. I... You won't understand. Oh, no. I'm very sorry. I said it's okay. The most important thing is that the wedding goes on. It goes according to plan. Larry must not know about this. It will. I promise. And you, don't pull that kind of stunt on me again. Or anyone else for that matter. You'll be planning my wedding in a few weeks' time if things go well between me and Patrick. <laughs> pull yourself together. <laughs> okay, try and pull yourself together, okay? How? You know how do I put myself together? How? You know how much I invested myself, my emotions, everything. You know how I invested everything into this relationship. So why do I have to deal with this sort of complications? Why? You are why? Maybe it's time you visited your dad. It's time. You know just saying that if the mountain does not go to Mohammed, then Mohammed goes to the mountain. Okay. Just try and pull yourself together. I'm sure you'll be fine. Please. Please, my dear friend, please. Can you just stop? Please, please. Okay. I'm coming. Hey, baby. At least answer my greeting now. Babe, I, I made our favorite meal for dinner. No answer? Man, there has to be something I can do to correct this. Baby, please hear me out, okay? We have a beautiful thing going. 
Let's not ruin it because of an irrelevant misunderstanding. Please. I only want to understand. Make me understand. That's the point, babe. There's nothing to understand. Someone spoke to your dad. And then I got the job. That's it. Nothing more. Wait, baby, wait. Okay, just... Okay, all right, fine. I'll go speak to your dad over the weekend. Just to prove to you that everything is fine. No. Don't go to my father. Phoenix, please. I'll go to him. I wish to be left alone. Sometimes it comes like a blast. A blast from the past. Just when you thought you left it all behind you. But then the past comes calling, catching up with you. Catching up with you. Would you believe it if you were told? Thought you'll get away with it After the planning and plotting He thought you've got no way with it Well as it goes If you commit the crime You will do the time It's just a matter of time And you will pay for your crime Would you believe it? Dad, I'll be coming to Abuja to see you. If it is because of that gold digger of a boy and your dream marriage you are coming to see me, you better forget it. Dad, this is important. Please. It's my life. Look, my dear. I will soon find a decent young man for you. If marriage is what you desire. Dad, you're not even listening to me. Yes, I'm listening. Check this out. I've been flirting with the idea of getting it for one of my clients until wow. I give up planning for it. Wow. Mm. Wow. <laughs> this is superb. Honey, take a look at this. This will suit you so well. You like it, right? Yeah, it looks luxury. <laughs> but can we afford it? Um, Stephanie, you know what? If you need extra money for that, do not hesitate to let me know, okay? I think... You know what? Done. We are going with this. We are going with this. Babe, let me... I let love me take it. Look at me. Sweetheart. Uh-uh, uh-uh. No protest. No protest. Honey. Look, I want to be looking at the most handsome, best-looking groom Ever. When I say I do. So, yes? Yes. Okay. Oh, Stephanie, you have a call. Okay. Here. Okay, it's Harry. Please excuse me, I have to take this in my room. Of course, of course. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> and I can't wait to know what my when I go to the hair bow, I think it's too much. Like Um, I just think it's the color. If they used something a little If not for the shoutiness, I don't think it's Henry. Hey bro. <laughs> hey. How You're here. Yeah. Uh, nobody told me you were coming around. Um, I didn't have to tell you I was coming around. Moreover, it wasn't you I was coming to see. <laughs> um, by the way, Harry will be taking me around town to stake out some possible halls for the reception. And we're going to be stopping over at the bar for a drink or two. To get you drunk. You wish. <laughs> <laughs> sure, sure. Yeah, actually, this is... Mm, this one looks like a shrine. Mm -mm. <laughs> shrine, <laughs> it's really? Shrine, no, 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 it's a no. no. She's not home. Um, I'm sure she went out with Terry. Well, come on, Stephanie is an adult. And Henry is somebody to be trusted with women? Why are you being so bothered? I, I, I don't understand. And Stephanie is my guest. But she's also my guest. She's under this roof. It means she's also my responsibility. Okay? And by the way, if you had... Lodge there in a hotel, like I suggested earlier, then her absence will mean absolutely nothing to me. Hi. Stephanie has been here with us for weeks now. Mm. Okay? And I hope...
Why are you coming out of Stephanie's room? Oh, I, I just went to check in on her. Why? You know she came in really drunk earlier. So, you know, I just went to check in on her. Isn't that what a good host does? Hmm? Are you missing me? Uh, yes, I, I was. And I was wondering where my darling husband was. I was right here. So should we go inside? Mm -hmm. Okay. Sometimes the past has a way of catching up with you at last. Sometimes it comes like a blast. A blast from the You know it's funny, Dad. How someone will be planning a wedding and actually a wedding is behind them. Ooh. Yeah, you see a beautiful person planning a beautiful wedding. And the wedding actually looks as beautiful as a person. Mm. I was informed you, you moved in with my daughter already. Typical you. Stephanie, you are here also. I see. So this has been your plan all along, eh? You and your brother want to rip where you did not see. Getting me spot he doesn't deserve in my company isn't enough for you. Now you want to make him my son-in-law. Another spot he doesn't deserve. Um. Chief, I, uh, <clears throat> we we are not siblings. Larry is my ex. <clears throat> Stephanie, my dad is fully aware of everything you confessed to us. Everything. Did you just say Larry is your ex? That ex that dumped you a month before your wedding. When are you going to say something? Talk! You know, there's something about you that I've been trying to figure out, right? I just cannot seem to place it. Something really off. Acting all innocence. Meanwhile, you are a snake. Let her talk. Please, Euro. Allow her to talk. Larry and I dated for three years. One year into the relationship, he lost his job. He couldn't afford his rents anymore, so he moved in with me. I was basically the one catering for his needs for two years. From everything I made from my business. Until one fateful evening, I returned from an event I planned. The event I met Chief Richmond. Oh God! Ah, honey, Larry, I'm home.
I'm coming in. Hey, babe. Welcome. How are you? I'm fine. Just tired. Yeah, I know. You look tired. So tell me, how'd you go? It was a success. You need to see the big men that were there. Huh? Yeah. One of them even gave me his business card. I didn't want to embarrass him, so I just took it. Okay. So, who's he? He said he's Chief Richmond. Can I see his business card? Sure. You don't know him. He's actually a very known businessman. Oh, really? Yes. I don't know him. I don't think he's that well known. I can see you are making something for us to eat. So I'll just um go and freshen up and join you later, okay? Oh, yes. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Mm. My love, mm -hmm. let me help you. Thank you. You know, you know you work so hard, right? Mm. And, um, you know, sometimes I just, I wish I could take care of you. Don't worry, Larry, you will soon get a job, okay? Yeah, but, um, we have a golden opportunity, you know. Why don't we make use of it? golden opportunity yes uh, the business card it's called the business card for a reason and um, you remember I told you about Jeff Richmond you know he's a, he's a rich man a business mogul like that he has different companies in different states of the country <sighs> what are you driving at you know, um, you could um, help, you know, talk to him so he can give me a job. That kind of thing. Bye. Okay, okay. He gave you his card, right? Mm -hmm. So you can, you can call him, you know, get to meet, make him comfortable, and then make a request that he can't say no to. Hmm? something sexy show off your calves just you, you look like you're, you're going for Wednesday service cool cool What are you wearing? Babe, I said something sexy. Okay? You look like you're traveling to Russia. I didn't say you should wear a sweater. Come on. Larry, 
I am going out with an elderly man, please. An elderly man that thinks you're his catch. I don't have a good feeling about this. But I do. I do. Listen to me, stay for the baby. How long have we been engaged? And the time for our wedding is drawing near. I thought by now we would be financially stable enough. But look at me, I'm still jobless. Okay? This is our breakthrough. And let us not be stupid to ruin it. Alright? So would you go in there right now and wear something sexy for me? Give you all this money as thanks for coming. I told you this was our breakthrough. I told you. Wow. See, and all we need to do right now is strategize, plan. Strategize for what? Oh God. Maybe you're still asking me that question. Come on, we're just getting started with this man. I don't get you. Look at all this money he gave you. There's more where this came from. So? We get more. We get more money. Larry, I don't know what you're talking about. Wait, 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 wait. Hold, on. hold on, hold on. See, all I want you to do is see the bigger picture here. Okay? Do you know how much money we can make from this man? Enough money to change our lives for good. You keep talking like you have a deal or a contract we can present to him to make money. That is what I am saying. We can come up with a deal. We can create a contract. How? How? Baby, just leave it to me. Give me a little time, okay? that man make money off him for us which definitely means sleeping with him larry so this is the, the, the sick business plan you've been plotting all this while no, no 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 babe i didn't say you should date him okay it's just a one-off all right no doggy no bj nothing you just just missionary you just stay there and he does his thing that's it look babe this is the deal okay you just record yourself having sex with him all right? Uh, <laughs> and after that, you know what follows, okay? We're not even gonna blackmail him for just a lot of money. You, you will tell him that he should give your brother a job. Yes. Larry, you are sick. You must be very stupid to think that I, Stephanie, would open my legs for a man because of money. But you've been opening your legs for me wide and for free. <laughs> How dare you, Larry? Stephanie, okay, fine. I'm sorry, I, I, didn't, I didn't mean to say it like that. Eh? I'm, I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. Jeez, you are not. Okay, Stephanie, help me. Just help me. <laughs> eh? You're the only one that can help me. You, you know how long I've been looking for a job. I, I, I've, I've 
tried to look for a job legally. I, I can't find. I've even tried to learn how to do Yahoo. It's not working. Eh? Men like Chief Richmond have money. But they'd rather squander it on girls than, than to give a promising young man. <laughs> I am your fiancé. Your body belongs to me. My body belongs to you as well. But I am giving you the permission to just, just allow Chief just touch you one time, just once. Eh? Everything will be all right, I promise. <laughs> you just want... Sometimes the past has a way of catching up with you at last. Sometimes it comes like a blast, a blast from the past. Just when you thought you left it all behind you. But then the past comes calling, catching up with you, catching up with you. Would you believe it? I... I would do it. You do it? Babe, did, did, did I hear you correctly? Just one time, Larry. Yes! 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 You have no idea. You just made us more time millionaires. Not with the blackmailing part. Come on, Stephanie. We talked about this now. I am not going to record myself having sex with any man. Certainly not going to blackmail Chief. It is a criminal act that can land us in jail. I don't understand. How are you supposed to make millions of this man? I am going to make the sacrifice of offering him my flesh. And? I believe he will like me well enough to offer you, my brother, a job. That's all I can ask of him. Stephanie. Larry, it's either that or nothing. <clears throat> so tell me, uh, <clears throat> did you? I spoke to Chief about you, and he said you should come to his office and see him on Monday. Mm -hmm. You see, I told you we don't need to blackmail him. Wrong. Stephanie, that's where you get it wrong. What I need from Chief is more than a job. Yes. I know a guy from the hotel address you sent to me. And he happened to be a guy that we've worked deals together in the past. This video was sent to me minutes before you came in. Larry, please. If you love me, please don't do this, please. Stephanie, if you love me, you will help me do this. Larry, Larry, Larry.
the shopping mall will be open right now. Let's go back this car. Pick it and put it on speaker. Let me help you. What did you do, Stephanie? Hello, Chief. You know what she did, and you know exactly what she's going to do with it. Who is this? Chief, you ask a lot of questions. I have just two things to ask. Or as the video goes out. I want to speak to Stephanie only. <sighs> Chief, the video will be out before that is possible. Do you know that? I know where she lives. But I can get both of you arrested. <laughs> Go ahead. But be rest assured that the video will be on every social media platform. On Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, everywhere. And the whole world will see you for a pervert that you are. Okay, okay, okay. What do you want? Thank you, Chief. Straight to the point. Ten million now. And I may position in your company. That's not too much to ask for the brother of your concubine. Hmm. Uh, this is only in the Lagos branch of my company. We have a, a top spot like that. And send your CV. The account number. A CV? Chief. Is there still a need for that? Fine. You know, I've always known you to be a very generous man. And uh, as for the account number, I would prefer that we use mine. I'm sure Stephanie here doesn't mind at all. But come on, it's not like I'm killing the guy. No, 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 no. This isn't right, Larry. This isn't me. And this isn't me. This is the right opportunity met with the right time. All I did was act. But Lagos, you can't go to Lagos. Why not? So we have to move to Lagos. Well, um, I will go to Lagos and I will set up a business and make sure we have a good life. And then I come back and we get married and I take you with me. Capiche? Because you're God sent. I call you God sent because He sent you to my life to change my life. And sometimes God sends people into your life to change your life, 
but not to actually stay in your life forever. Stephanie, thanks for everything. But I'm sorry. This is where our journey ends. What is this? What's Larry saying? Is this a joke? I, I don't understand. What, what, what's going on? Which kind of breakfast in bed with this? No. No. No, 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 no. No, Larry can't do this to me. No! Stephanie, you? You told them everything? Yes. I believe she told us everything. Mm-hmm. Babe. Our wedding is tomorrow. And I've invited my family and my friends. What stupid wedding are you talking about? Larry, what stupid wedding are you talking about? Everything from the point of Stephanie's confession was a mirage. Was a mirage to keep you till my dad arrives. Henry. Did you ever come to think of how hard it must have been for her to plan a wedding of someone who dumped her? Huh? You see? You've come very well. Getting married to But dad, if you don't fall in Abuja with different girls, don't you think we will be having this meeting? Because you were angry with me and refused to pick my car. That was why you didn't realize that I have changed since last year. Only negative thing you uh, hear about me now was my deed in the past. You know, our must have a way of uh, catching up with our present. so foolish of me to believe that you loved me. But I do. Shut up! Shut the hell up, you gold digger! So you set my father up and blackmailed him into giving you a job in this company. Then I came along. And I seem like the easier route to wealth, right? You squandered your money, all the money you made from my father on unnecessary things. And then Larry, you moved in with me. I was ready. I was ready to walk down the aisle with you. I was so ready. such a big fool. I was such a fool to have believed you. You had no fault. At least you had a good conscience to have allowed me a good time. You seemed really happy with him. You seemed really excited about your wedding. I need to finish reading it for you. Stephanie, when I first met you, I thought I would fall in love again. Because you brought back uh, pleasant memories of uh, my daughter's late mother. But we all lost it. Lost everything. But um, I forgive you now that I realize that you are 
not part of uh, this cheap black male's uh, skin. I'm really sorry, Chief. The devil blackmailed me. Isn't that? It was the devil, not you, the devil. This is Gary. I'm here to do what I should have done a long time ago. Instead of a chicken into your cheap blackmail. You will rot in jail. I'll make sure you're rotting jail! Take your stupid ring. You will rot in jail! Harry, I'll find my way. Just go. Go where? You know I can't live here without you. Moreover, we, we still have a whole lot to talk about, so you can't just live like that. Harry, you heard everything that happened. I don't want to talk about it again. And who is still talking about it? What then are we talking about? Talking about you and I. Stephanie, excuse me. Stephanie, I can imagine the kind of trauma you've been through. None of it is stronger than the embarrassment I caused you, Chief. I can't be sorry enough. Well, it's all right. I can still get you uh, a seat on my flight to Abuja, if you don't mind. Maybe we pick up from where we stopped, <laughs> if you will let us. The flight offer is fine, sir. Thank you. Good. Come say, let's I'll go. I'll just get my book. Good, good. There is no you and I, Henry. Thank you for everything. But I'm really sorry. Be good. Sometimes the past has a way of catching up with you at last. Sometimes it comes like a blast, a blast from the past. Just when you thought you left it all behind you. But then the past comes calling, catching up with you, catching up with you. Would you believe it if you were told that your past will catch up with you? The past will catch up with you, catch up with you. Would you believe it if you were told that your past will catch up with you? The past has caught up with you, caught up with you. 
scheming and scamming. You thought you get away with it. After the planning and plotting, you thought you've got no way with it. Well, as it goes, if you commit the crime, you will do the time.